All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity with charity. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson. I got a couple, a bunch of scriptures pulled up here. And um, I was watching um, the elder in Dallas. And um, he was really going, this is the video here, by the way. The Lord blocked Moses and Aaron from the promised land for losing faith. See? And that's what this letter, this lesson is going to be centered around. All right? Us having to keep faith. Us having to continue to believe that the Lord is helping us. All right? And has given us the spirit to continue. And it's going to get us through whatever he puts us through. That's all really the test for me. How about Shemiel Shai? Is do you believe or not? Okay, because the story is going to go on no matter if you believe the Lord's going to help you or not. And that's the whole. That's the whole reason. All right. That um, <laughs> that's the whole reason that the Lord, you know, he didn't let um, Moses and Aaron into the promised land. He didn't let them into the promised land because of unbelief and a, a loss of faith, man. Even these were great men. All right. So it was it's an example for us. It tells you that what the things written before time were written for our learning. So I'm gonna get this word etymology for unbelief. All right. Mid twelfth uh circa. Absence or lack of religious belief. Disbelief of the truth of the gospel, not or un opposite of belief. See? So this means that you don't believe, man. Okay. So you have to believe in this truth. You have to believe whatever you're going through. All right. Did not the Lord get you out of situations countless enough, countless amount of times? All right. That is the same spirit you're supposed to have. You're supposed to have the spirit of believing that the Lord is with you or else he's not going to be. Okay. Okay. So let's get this. Uh, let's start with uh, actually. Let's start with this. Uh, Hebrews eleven. Um, let's start at four. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. The Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found. Why? Because of the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So you're not going to be able to even please Yahweh Bashim Yashah to the point where he does help you. Why? Because of your unbelief, because of your lack of faith. You get into different situations, you just fold up. <laughs> You know, not physically, but spiritually, you, you start folding up. You have to remember, and this to myself first and foremost, you have to remember when you're going through something. And that's the spirit of the elder from Los Angeles. Just um, He just did a lesson on how we're supposed to feel all right, the way we feel when things come up. Things are always going to come up. Okay? When things come up, you have to remember and put into your mindset, this is a test. The Lord is going to uh, sharpen me in some type of way. All right, utilizing this because of this situation. So let's go forward. The Lord is going to deliver. Okay? That's the mindset that we're supposed to be have. That's a mindset of belief, a mindset of faith. All right? There's no uh, uh can't do it. We how about Shem Yahweh Shai? All right? If you believe and have faith that he's going to deliver you, <laughs> Out of all sorts of uh, situations that um, are going to arise in these last days, they're going to keep happening. This to myself, first and foremost, man. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. You must believe. You can run into a terrible situation. You think to yourself, am I, I going to get out? Of the situation, is the Lord going to get me out of this situation? After that, at that point, then your answer, your 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 speaking to yourself should be, 
I must believe that he's going to get me out of this situation and end it there and go forward. And the Lord will deliver you. It happens all the time. And because of Moses and Aaron's lack of faith and lo the losing of faith and but disbelief, they weren't allowed to go into the promised land. And these were great men. OK, this was King David. All right. And Aaron, the priest, the high priest. But because of the unbelief, the Lord was displeased with them and didn't even allow them to go into the the, uh, the promised land, man. So our whole thing is we have to continue on in belief. Now, let's get Mark 11. Because if you don't continue on and you know, if you continue on in that half, you know, fluctuating spirit of belief in, b b with the Lord. All right. That's like somebody telling you, I'm going to do this. But you're like, you sure you're going to do it? You sure you can help me? <laughs> you're telling the Lord that you're either going to believe that he's going to help you or you're not. All right. Like brothers always say, there's no gray area with you. How about Shemiel Shine? You come into a situation. It seems like you can't get out of it. Just know it's a test and the Lord's going to deliver you out of it. If you believe. <laughs> it's a test of your integrity, a test of your faith. The test if you have confidence in the most high. That's all that is going to continue to happen until we get out of here. And this is what until we go into the promised land. If you don't believe, you're going to keep getting beat up and beat up. And it's going to keep burning you away, burning you away. It's going to destroy you. Because ultimately that means that what? The Lord is displeased at you, your unbelief. So the things that you're, you 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 you're. you're Imagining in your your mind concerning the situation, right? As far as happening to you, the Lord is just gonna let it happen and not deliver you. So we have to continue to believe and keep our belief even during these the, the trials and tribulations, the tough times, all right. And now the Lord's gonna test us, and He tests, He's gonna test me, He's gonna test all of us that hear these lessons, all right, to see if we got it. And that's to myself first and foremost. It says. And in the morning as they passed, this is uh, Mark chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 20. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots, it's the, the fig tree that the Lord cursed. And Peter calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree, which thou cursed, it is withered away. And Yahweh answering, saith unto him, have faith in the most high. Why is he why is he saying this? Because if you don't continue on in your belief and faith in Yahweh Shem Yahshua, you're going to become weaker and weaker and weaker and wither away. And become faithless. And that's what none of us want. We want Yahweh Shem Yahshua to give us the faith to get through whatever he puts us through and have belief in him when it happens. You see? For verily I say unto you, verse 23, for verily I say unto you that whatsoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. That's heavy, man. <laughs> So you can go out here with the confidence you have about Shemi Shai. He's going to help me. He's going to do this. We're going to get through this. And the Lord going to get you through it and give you give you a little bit more, maybe. All right. Give you uh, put a little bit more cushioning. All right. To deliver you out of that situation. This is how the Lord works, man. And this is the type of faith that we're, we're going to have to, um, you know, grow in to myself, first and foremost. And I always say that because I, when I do these lessons, I'm watering myself. As the scripture says, he who watereth, watereth himself. So that 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 uh that spirit of disbelief and doubt, and f the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard for you to please Him. It's gonna be hard for Him to want to help you because you don't even believe in yourself. You don't even believe that He can help you. That's the first uh, 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 challenge that we all have to get over. All right, and you know it's, it happens. It, it takes time. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 6 and 28 uh, and 29. Yahushua answered and said unto them, this is the work of the Most High. This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Yahushua came with the truth. He came with the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the way to walk. 
All right. The way to get a, a stronger connection with the Most High Yahweh Shemian Shai through faith, through belief. That is the work of the Most High. It's for you to believe on these things and utilize these things. Utilize the belief. Utilize faith. See? And, and, and you, you've already we've already taken the first the, the first major step, which is a, a spiritual powers, is believing in this truth. Okay. The Lord what woke you up to this this understanding? All right. So now the Lord is what watching you. So He's gonna give you tests. He's gonna give you trials. But if you believe that you are going to get out of them, all right, you might have to really pray. For belief and faith concerning all the situations to come. Then the Lord is going to answer you. Then the Lord will be pleased. See? Then he'll send uh, 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 he'll send uh, uh, help. He'll, he'll give you a way out. And the things that have been happening in our life, the Lord has been delivering us out of all of them. Little do we know. Why? Because we believed. We have faith. John 6 and 29. Yahweh shall answer and send unto them. This is the work of the Most High that she believe on him who he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? Because a lot of Jake needs something to see. They need something tangible. Oh, you got to show me. No, the faith is based off of things we can't see. Read Hebrews the 11th chapter. Faith is the substance of thing not seen. So when you go through these different situations, do you believe that the Most High is there even though you can't see him? Do you have faith that his angels are there watching and helping and guiding you and, and creating a path out of what the distresses that we're going to go through without seeing them? This is all the, the test of faith and belief. Verse 30 again, they said, therefore, unto him, what sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it's written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And that's going, that's the spirit it's going back to Aaron and Moses. Because our people had these things. They were given all these things. They were supplied with food, water during this time of Aaron and Moses. And our people still fell back into unbelief. You just had all these things done for you. You had the Lord walk you through a, a huge body of water through the middle of it, cut in half for you get to give you a path through it. But you didn't believe that he's going to get you to the promised land. And for that very reason is why Aaron and, and Moses were not able to make it in because they lost the faith and the belief. You see? And that's the spirit that's going back to that, man. I'm going to read it again. John 6 and 31. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahusha said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth light unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahusha said unto them, I am the bread of I am the bread of life. Yahweh came in the in two thousand years ago with the perfect understanding and the ways to walk and how to strengthen your connection and, re, and relationship with Yahweh Shimon Shah through faith and belief. He brought it. A lot of our people, he called them. Oh, he said, oh, faithless generation. Why? Because they were com, com, they was continuing to not believe in themselves, not believe that the Most High was going to um, help them, <laughs> not having confidence in in, in the Lord. All right, to get them out of different situations. All right, not having confidence and belief that the Lord will heal them. This is why Yahusha always said, Oh, faithless generation, you don't believe in the Lord? Which goes back to what? Hebrews 11 chapter. You can't even please the Lord if you don't believe and have faith. And if the Lord's not pleased with you, what is going to happen? He's not going to help you. <laughs> We want the Lord Yahweh. I want the Yahweh Shemiah to help me. So I'm going to continue to believe that through all, all the situations that, that are I'm going through now, the ones to come, that the Lord's going to deliver me out of all of them because he's been doing it. And I've been seeing it. And you have to realize and understand 
and look at your past situations and how you got out of them and realize that was your faith that delivered you, that pleased Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to the point where he sent you a way out. Yahweh Shai came down in the flesh to let us know and solidify that fact that that's how you please the Most High. Through faith. Which is believing in things you don't see. Believing in what? The unknown. Unknown situations. How are they going to turn out? With the mindset of hoping the Most High has them turn out good. That is what faith and belief is, man. You see? John 6 and 35. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall... And he that what believeth on me shall never thirst. Do you believe that Yahweh Shai is going to uh, orchestrate a deliverance for you? Do you believe he's going to save you? These are the things that, man, this is heavy. These are the things we have to continue to uh, focus on, man. This world is fading away, and we're gonna. I'm. We're gonna, we should. We're gonna have to trust in Yahweh Shai Yahshai and believe. Step out on a different level of belief, and we're getting to that point. Is it going to be easy? No, it's not. It's not meant to be easy. You betray you, your spirit and your flesh. You putting your your flesh in subjection and going spiritually and falling into the hands of the Lord. It's a difficult thing because you're in the flesh, but you have to remember: just fall. It just, just what did they say? The word: let go and let the most high. Let go and let God. <laughs> That's the show of your belief. You believe He's going to get you out. You put it in His hands. Let me get a scripture real quick. Cast all thy burdens. And then we're going to jump back. This is Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Why? Because you have put your belief and your trust and your faith in him. So he will what? Deliver you. Out of all these situations, that's you pleasing him. Your faith, your belief, and trust and confidence in him is his is what is going to please him. So now he's going, I'm gonna work for him. I'm gonna do something for him. <laughs> you see? You know, Lord willing is all everything's always through the spirit, of course. This is um Galatians six, uh, Galatians three. Galatians 3, but the scripture have concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Yahweh Shah might be given to them that believe. So it all goes back to your belief. All right? Let's see here. I think that's all I had. Let's see here. Here we go. First John 5 and 13. These things have I written unto you that believe. This is only written to people that believe. If you don't believe, you, you're, you're lacking in faith. You got to pray for more faith. Pray for more belief. Pray for more trust. Pray for more confidence in Yahweh Yahshua. Because this what I'm about to read is for them that believe. It says it here. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the Most High. That you may know that you have eternal life. See, and that she may believe on the name of the son of the most high. Listen to this. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he and if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So the Lord will help us if we continue on in belief, trust, the confidence in him. Do you believe that it's written for you to get out of all the situations that the Lord put you in as far as being a test? <laughs> um, I don't think that the Lord woke you up to destroy you and give you this beautiful knowledge to what? destroy you he woke you up to give you this knowledge so that you can increase and in what's going to help you increase going through sufferings going through trials it's like lifting weight spiritually and mentally you come out of it stronger you come out all right with the help of Yahweh Shem Yahshai why because of your belief and your faith and confidence in him during that situation all right and 
more of the more and more situations to come and that's ultimately what the lord is looking for and that is what's going to get us into the promised land the kingdom right that is soon to come lord willing man all right so i'm gonna put this brother's lesson in um the description box lord willing edifying call hello yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakodash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and uh, salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.